of cases we have in Sabah. Will, if there are more cases, if it becomes serious, do you think it's likely that the elections could be postponed? Is this something that could be considered? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so far, we have been observing uh, uh, and monitoring the situation. Uh, so, and we think that uh, we are able to contain, uh, to mitigate the whole situation. And more importantly, is that uh, everyone, whether frontliners or the public, must comply to our SOP. So we believe that if you comply to SOP, then we can break the chain of the infection. Um, uh, recently, there's a publication in Lancet. If you comply to the physical distancing of at least one meter and put on a face mask, you can uh, break the transmission more than 85%, for example. So there is something very powerful, but it must be implemented and practiced uh, at the ground. So I think this is uh, something that uh, we are monitoring closely. Uh, so, and also we are monitoring the r not. Initially, it was uh, last two weeks, uh, r not was actually uh, quite high, but now we managed to contain and then bring it down, almost about uh, less than one. So I think we are still following closely in terms of uh, uh, the situation. So election day for probably about three days ago, uh, uh, next three days. So we hope that we will be able to contain after the election. Once after election, we will do another uh, surveillance and I'll make sure to look into the monitoring of the situation, whether we need to proceed to do other, uh, to take any other actions. So I think uh, so far, uh, it, the, we, we think that is uh, from the judgment of Ministry of Health, I think uh, from our surveillance, uh, the situation is well controlled.